Well, very good. Uh, we've uh, let our upper mounting set for 10-15 uh, minutes. We've checked it to make sure we're not jumping the gun here because that can be discouraging uh, to uh, rush it a little bit and you go to separate everything and then you get a crack across your mounting. So give it ample time to set. One of the things I failed to mention before we mounted the upper is always check the settings on your articulator. Not so much that, that there's something magical about the numbers, but that things are firmly and securely in place and there's no wobbling. A good general rule, uh, kind of an average condylar inclination for 99% of the patients is, on these panted end articulators is if you have this set at four. So have both condylar inclinations at four, but before you ever start to use the articulator, just make sure that these are, these are snug and that these are snug so that nothing moves on you during the mounting process. And these are, these are nice and secure. So we can go ahead and open this up. And at this point, this uh, bite fork assembly could be taken apart. Uh, literally, uh, because these are in somewhat short supply here at the school. Uh, these can be cleaned up right at this point and uh, then recycled, returned back to the, to the dispensary. Once this is indexed, you really don't need this anymore because if anything were to happen, you've got it indexed, you can always put it back together. So, uh, we'll take the transfer assembly off and we'll go back to our incisal guide table put that on uh, this we've already set at zero something that's good to do at this point is to just we're going to do this mounting that we're doing is a centric relation bite record and so it's taken obviously in a slightly open position it's a condylar axis record it really has nothing to do with the way the teeth fit together but it's good to check whatever method you use for recording your centric relation. Try it on both arches separately. And so this upper arch, it should sit very stable. If I was to push it on one side or another and it tipped up, it's, it's obviously warped and inaccurate. So it seems to set down nicely. Look around the edges so that there are no gaps. Uh, if there are, you may have either uh, left a bleb somewhere on your occlusal surface and or uh, this bite record may have, may have uh, warped on you a little bit. But this one seems very secure. On the upper arch, we're going to try the same thing on the lower arch. I've been pre-soaking this one in preparation for the mounting. Uh, and so these, these little Dalar wax points or Almor points should be able to sit right down without any gaps anywhere. It should just sit right into the record nicely and it is. So it fits both arches nicely and that's basically how it's going to be oriented on the articulator when we mount the lower arch. So let's go ahead and put this back. Put our mounting plate down below and then this is where this little support comes in handy. So we're going to put these end pieces just like that in there to give us some support and then this can be adjusted really anywhere that uh, helps us keep this kind of level and stable. So we'll put up something like that and put that aspect of the record in place. If there's any question about the way these fit together or if it uh, doesn't seem to be very stable, it's a good idea to secure, to secure the two pieces uh, with either some, uh, with a hot glue gun or sticky wax and paper clips, something like that. That's another uh, slight departure from the method that Dr. Lauder uses. He uses a rubber band to secure the mandibular cast, which works great. As long as your 
uh, centric relation record is very firm, and he uses an uh, Almor uh, Daylar. It's this light blue wax for his whole platform. So his whole centric relation record is a very hard, crisp, stable wax, and so the rubber band is not going to distort it. I use Schuyler wax and a combination with that and the and the Daylar or the Almor wax, uh, and and the reasons I do uh, we I, I discussed in another in another video. We don't need to go into that here. There's advantages and disadvantages. Both methods work if you pay attention to the weaknesses in in either method. So the Schuyler wax is a little bit softer and it can deform on you. So if I was to rubber band this, it could squeeze into the Schuyler wax and distort my record a little bit. So I avoid using a rubber band. Uh, let's just try this on. Make sure that your centric lock back here is locked so that you don't, your condyles don't slide out of the centric relation hinging position. And uh, we'll just re-wet that. That's a pretty good gap. So I'm going to have to mix up a little bit more stone on this one. And we may even drop this just a little bit so that it's not tipping back quite so far. And we'll set our wet paper towel back in place just to make sure that this is going to be moist. You don't want it soaking, you just want it moist when you do the mounting. So let's go mix up our stone. We'll need a little bit more than last time. Obviously, so I'm going to use a couple of scoops here, and maybe a half, like that. And I overdid it, just like last time. <laughs> So let's add a little bit of powder. Again, if this is very runny, especially if you have a pretty good gap to fill, uh, you'll just end up with mounting stone all over the place. And that's about as runny as I would dare have it be. It, it would need to be at least that consistency or a little thicker, but we'll go with this because I think this will work fine. So we'll take our wet piece off there and blot this. Make sure that we don't move it out of the index. One of the things that may happen is when I load the stone up on this side, it may tip this. We'll at least get it started here. So again, try not to get it really too much over the edges. You just need to fill that central portion. And the rest of it, again, I like to get kind of a good idea of where, you know, where I'm going with this. So I need to build it a little bit forward too. It's always easier to uh, build it up because it tends to go out. <laughs> so try to go up rather than out in the beginning like that. And I need to keep in mind that I'm going forward a little bit with this. Okay, let's give that a try. Not too bad. I think we got a little bit far forward, but we can clean that excess off. I think 
Again, there's no problem in leaving a little bit of a gap at the, uh, at the junction of your mount and the model you're mounting. And then at this stage, that would clean that up a little bit. And the very last thing you want to do is just check that you're in your index. And I've got a little bit of excess there I think I can get rid of too. So one last check to be in the index. And then just let it, uh, let it set at that point. So. That's the, the lower arch.